I felt like I didn't belong until I found my inner truth. Hi, my name is May and I am your host of this podcast. I want to invite you on this spiritual journey to find love, acceptance, inner truth and a sense of belonging, in spite of a multicultural background. Let's get together and overcome our issues with labels and stop trying to fit in boxes that were not made for us. Let's stop looking at what makes us different and see what brings us together without losing our authenticity. If you like the podcast, please give it a five-star rating. This will give more people the opportunity to find us or share it with someone who will benefit of it. In today's episode, I want to look at the difference between being a people pleaser and being a compassionate person. I hope you like this a little input for today, this little inspiration. So yeah, let's just dive right in. Have fun. Servus, beautiful people out there. So happy to be back again here to talk to you. Today's topic is something that's coming deeply from my heart to your heart because it's something that I believe doesn't only affect uh, us mixies, although we are destined to do so usually. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but in my case, I was taught to adjust to everybody else, right? So it sort of makes you um, become a people pleaser uh, because you always try to make it right for everybody um, until you start getting into trouble because of that. And then you start, um, yeah, finding moments and things that don't work out that properly. And then you realize that there's people that you can't please at all but you're still trying too hard to please them. And um, yeah, that's really sad. <laughs> if you look at it, and I'm sorry that I'm laughing about it, but it's, it's like if I rem remind myself how I used to be back then, um, it was not beautiful because it made me feel tense all the time because I felt like I was constantly constantly sort of looking out for everybody you know like looking out how are they feeling like what are they doing you know like are they okay do I have to do something about it can I do something about it and uh, one big downside about being a people pleaser is that sooner or later you start taking it personal when someone's not feeling good because then you're thinking wait I'm doing everything you know, and this person is still not happy. Well, the truth is, there are people that you can't make happy. And somehow you know that truth, <laughs> now that I'm telling you that as well. You know that truth that there's people that don't want to be happy, but you still start taking it personal, right? Um, so what, what, what do you think helps not to become a people pleaser or to stop being a people pleaser? It's not easy because it, it takes you over the edge of maybe even being different or maybe seem indifferent to other people. And it's not that you don't have... I think there's a huge difference between still being able to be compassionate with others but not being a people pleaser. You know what I mean? Um, and one of the biggest sentences that I got actually from a therapist um, that made me really go, oh my God, with myself about it, was um, when I was talking, I don't know, I, I don't know what I was telling her or what, what we were talking about, but it was again about something where I felt like I had to do something and so that everybody else will be happy. Because in my mind, you know, like, especially like when you have to deal with political stuff at work or, you know, even not political stuff or just being nice inside of your family systems and you're trying to be nice for everybody. Um, and it's so you sort of sometimes feel like you are the one pulling all the strings so that everybody's fine, right? <laughs> Until it all comes tumbling down. And... Basically, I think I was telling her stuff about that. And then and then she looks at me and she says, who in the world, who in the world put you in charge to be responsible for everybody else's feelings? Boom. 
right? That hits you right in the gut. It's like, oh my God. Oh my God. That's so true. Who put me in charge? I don't know. Well, I apparently I did at some point. <laughs> uh, I, I Apparently I did at some point put myself in charge for it. Now I think I'm in charge for everybody. Mm, but in the truth, everybody is in charge for themselves. So what, what, what am I doing here, you know? Okay, on one hand, again, everybody knows, and I guess you probably know too, you can't make everybody happy. And then there, there will be people that you won't be able to make happy. But, and that's, a, that's the part where being a people pleaser becomes a really an illness, I would say, is when you start taking things personal and you think you're the one responsible for everything. And I don't know about you, because I mean, I'm not your therapist and I'm not telling you like my therapist told me back then but if you just take that sentence in and look for yourself like where am I trying to please everybody or where am I ta taking responsibility for something Whew, that's a strong one and it's not easy to let go and again that's a thing because in the beginning you might feel like when you start doing that that you become indifferent but it's not true. You can still be compassionate for people feeling the way they feel. You know, if they're not happy, you can still be compassionate with them for not feeling happy with whatever situation they have. But it doesn't mean that you have to be responsible for them being in that state or for bringing them out of that state, you know? That's the typical one that I had because I'm, I'm usually, I love making people happy and I'm, you know, like I love... Um, being a happy person and when someone's sad or angry I don't like it you know um, at least that's how it used to be nowadays if someone's happy I'm happy with them and if someone's sad or angry I'll listen to them but I don't take it personal you know I don't have to make them happy in that moment and again who am I to be responsible in that moment if it's not even my responsibility because most of the time if you come on be be honest with yourself most of the time if you look at the situations it's not your fault you know it's not your fault so why are you taking responsibility for it and um and then you're trying to help that person because you want that person to be happy and you don't realize that that person needs their own space and time to maybe come crawling out of whatever state they are right now and it's not good to compress your emotions you know to to bottle them away into other places so you want people if they're angry you want them to be angry right now if that's the emotion that they have to go through allow them to be there don't take that space away because again who are you to take away that space from them right you wouldn't want anyone to take that space from you and Again, that's also something for yourself. If you feel angry at one point, it's allowed. You're allowed to, to be angry in that moment. Um, and we often hold back because we think we, again, we have to please someone else. And we don't. We, that's the thing. We're not responsible for that. And if you have an anger moment, then you have to live through that anger moment. If you, and if you're in a sad moment, you want to live through that sad moment. You don't want to bottle it away. You don't want to put it somewhere else. You just want to be in whatever moment you are. And um, yeah, just don't, you know, like don't, don't bottle it away or don't suppress things just to please someone else. Because you're neither helping them or yourself. And that's the thing about, you know, the difference between being a people pleaser and being compassionate, being real compassionate. It's not taking responsibility for things. Because you can be compassionate without being responsible. And uh, yeah, I hope you can, you can find that for yourself and how that can help you be a compassionate person instead of a people pleaser. Um, yeah, with these words I want to put, give you, sent you into this week. Today we're having a portal day again that is reminding us to trust. So trust in the process, trust in the system. Like I trusted myself that if the podcast didn't want to go out yesterday, it wanted to come out today. So it's coming out today. 
And I hope it's fun with you guys as well. Sending you a big thank you very much for tuning in again. Hope that you can be a compassionate person and not instead of a people pleaser. And um, let go of that responsibility. <laughs> thank you again for tuning in and have a great, great week for yourself into the easter big easter weekend next weekend so um yeah have a wonderful week <laughs> bye everybody servus <laughs> <laughs>